Alert Weather is brought to you by the Medical Center. This morning, we're watching thunderstorms off to our north and east as we look at First Alert Live Doppler radar. You see this cluster of showers and thunderstorms, nothing severe. And uh, these are just throwing down a lot of heavy rain and lightning, but they are weakening as they kind of travel off in an east southeasterly pa uh, fashion here. And uh, the pattern is that this uh, cluster of thunderstorms will weaken as it moves off into, say, uh, over toward uh, uh, that's uh, Taylor County, Casey County, up to Marion County down around the uh, Lebanon, uh, Springfield area, maybe over toward Bardstown. Campbellsville, you could get clipped with some of these storms. Looks like the majority of the rougher stuff is going to be uh, far to the north. Nothing impacting the Bowling Green area this morning. All that's going to bypass us. It's later today, though, that we are concerned for the possibility of new thunderstorms coming in, a new complex that will enter from our northwest. In fact, it's already back up toward the St. Louis area. Is expected to tap into what we call a low-level jet, and that's just a fast-moving area of moist air that is uh, going to uh, help ramp up the uh, threat for showers and thunderstorms right along the Wabash and the Mississippi Rivers and the Ohio River, and then closing in on the Bowling Green area, we think sometime later this afternoon into early this evening. So the entire state of Kentucky, much of Tennessee, under a slight risk for severe storms come later today. The primary threat would be damaging wind potential, heavy flooding rains are possible, lots of lightning, maybe some hail. Tornado threat is pretty low, but cannot completely be ruled out. So keep your NOAA weather radios on. Make sure you have our text alerts if you don't have that, weather, uh, apps and maps, all that available at WBKO.com. So check that out. Here's a look at temperatures right now. Another muggy start to the day with temperatures mainly in the mid or low to mid 70s across South Central Kentucky. Lots of 73s showing up down from Bowling Green down to Franklin and Scottsville this morning. We're going to hit probably 90, maybe 91 or two before the day is over before the thunderstorms come in. So Hardensburg, 90 today, 91 for Litchfield, all around the Rough River Lake area. By the way, the Kentucky Lottery Powerball jackpot for tonight estimated to be at $40 million, while Mega Millions estimated to be at $61 million. The pollen count, well, we're still low in the pollens there with the grasses, uh, but ozone has come up into the moderate category for today. And as we look live from our AAA Systems weather cam, Scottsville Road and I-65. From the sleep in, we're looking at a uh, partly cloudy start to the day. 73 degrees now, south wind at 6, 98% humidity, pressure steady right now. As we check a few more weather cams, here's Franklin starting out with a partly cloudy sky, 73 degrees there. Munfordville mainly cloudy, and these clouds coming off that band of thunderstorms off to your northeast. Temperature at 72, 70 at Jamestown Marina at Lake Cumberland this morning, and the Bowling Green Ballpark, all quiet downtown Bowling Green, 73 degrees there currently. 76 at the airport, 77 Memphis, 75 with thunderstorms in St. Lewis. In fact, as we look at the radar, this is the cluster of thunderstorms right there that we're going to watch throwing out some outflow boundaries down toward the Bowling Green area. We think that's where our development of thunderstorms is going to happen today. This one over north central Kentucky that I showed you on local radar, it is beginning to weaken as it moves into uh, portions of central and eastern Kentucky. In fact, here's a close up view of that same complex fading away. But this is the one to watch. In fact, there's a third one back behind it that uh, is going to throw down more heavy thunderstorms. All part of a big system here with abundant moisture in play. We've got an approaching cold front that's going to help lift the moisture into the atmosphere. And with the daytime heating and all the moisture hanging around, Perfect conditions for some heavy downpours of rain and maybe even some severe weather come later this afternoon and this evening. Quieting down once we get into early tomorrow morning, but we still could have some leftover showers and thunderstorms even tomorrow afternoon as a secondary front makes its way into the area. 92 today, hot and humid with that chance of thunderstorms developing. Then strong storms are likely tonight, 72. Tomorrow up to 90, a partly sunny day with a late day shower chance. Better chances, though, as we get into the beginning of next week, all through the weekend, 
maybe a peppered uh, shower chance here and there. But the best news is that we'll cool off just a little bit into the uh, low to mid 80s throughout that period.